Well, hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy and this is Sweetly Home. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see here, I would love it if you would subscribe and hang out with us a little bit longer. We have fun here. We are a community of women who supports one another and encourages one another. And this is a place where we talk about all things heart and home. And if that sounds good to you, We'd love to have you. Today I am back with some of my gal pals here on YouTube and we are talking about all kinds of fun things about the Christmas holiday season and today we are doing a virtual cookie exchange. I'm going to leave the recipe to my grandma's butter cookie. So it's a cutout cookie. Um, I'm going to leave that recipe in the description box down below. These cookies we have them every single Christmas. It is a melt in your mouth, sort of delicious cutout cookie. They're beautiful. I actually even made them for the wedding favors at my wedding. <laughs> uh, they were in the shape of like hearts and they were pretty, so pretty with pale pink frosting and a little bit of um, clear sanding sugar on them. They were gorgeous. I'll also leave her frosting recipe as well. It's a yummy, delicious, simple frosting that it's great just to put on cutout cookies. So rather than actually share with you how I bake these cookies, today for our virtual cookie exchange, I actually want to talk about cookie exchanges in general. For the past five years, my family and I have had an annual cookie exchange and it has been one of the highlights of my Christmas season. So I wanted to give you a few tips if you ever thought about doing a cookie exchange yourself. So the basic idea is that you and a bunch of friends each make a dozen cookies per guest who's going to come to the party. You all meet together on one certain day and you each take home a dozen cookies from each of the participants. So then you go home with a plethora of different types of cookies and you are basically stocked up for the holiday season. The idea of it sounds so great and so fun, but when you start to think about having a lot of people over, I mean, even if you're thinking like five, six, seven people, and you have to make a dozen cookies per each person that comes, that can get a little overwhelming. So I want to share with you some tips how we make this party easy, fun, and the absolute highlight of our year. So here's my first tip. Don't make a dozen cookies per person. I know that almost seems to defeat the whole rules of a cookie exchange party, but here's the thing. There are going to be cookies that some people really want to have, and then there's going to be some that maybe they're just not their favorites. And also, some people are just cutting back on sugar and carbs and fattening things in general, so they may not want dozens and dozens of cookies in their house. Maybe they don't have a lot of people coming over. Maybe they just don't want to be stuck with 10 dozen cookies. I mean, I would love it, but some people might not. When we've had our cookie exchange parties, we found that people just generally double the recipe of whatever cookie or treat it is that they are making, and that seems to be more than enough. In fact, I doubled my recent cookie recipe that I took to our cookie exchange party and I still came home with half a tub of cookies. It's not that the cookies weren't delicious and wonderful, there were just a lot of them and all I did was just double the recipe. So if you encourage your guests to just double the recipe or even bring a single recipe, because some recipes really make a lot of cookies, um, I think that you're going to be covered. That's what we found. We really have found that overall we just have a lot of cookies. So don't get too hung up on the guideline of having a dozen cookies made per each participant. Make it simple for your guests. The idea of a cookie party is not to get stressed out. It's to give ease to people throughout the rest of the holidays. Don't pile on more work than necessary. The other thing that we do that makes our cookie exchange party such a success is that we have it generally around the same time every year. In fact, we always hold it on a day when our community does a big telethon to raise money for different charities. Um, and so we just have our cookie exchange party the night of this telethon. So months in advance, whenever they announce when the telethon is going to be, we know that that's the night of the cookie exchange party. And people keep that date free and clear so that they can attend. 
We also do activities during the night to just make it more fun and lively. We have different games, some are trivia games. This past time we did a game where um, there were different boxes wrapped inside of one another and you wore these oven mitts and you had to try and unwrap the present if you rolled like a double with some dice and it was so much fun. My husband's 87 year old grandma rolled doubles nearly every single round and it was quite comical. Um, some of us didn't roll doubles at all, like myself, and it was just funny. So incorporate some fun games into your event. Games get people excited, um, it gets them competitive, it gets them, I don't know, lively, and it gives you something to do other than just trying to um, chit chat. And this is really especially good if you are hosting a cookie party where people don't know one another. Games are the kind of thing that can bring people together. Another game that we always love is the left-right game. You pass it left and you pass it right every time that word is read during the particular story. There's lots of them on Pinterest. Just Google left and right Christmas game and you'll, you'll find it. There are loads of suggestions on Pinterest for different holiday games, so make sure that you look there or just check Google. I'm sure you're bound to come up with some good ones. And along with the games, do some different prizes. That was always... I don't know, such a fun thing. Um, we've done everything from, I think it's been gift cards to money to um, Bath and Body type products. Of course, Scentsy, we're a Scentsy family. Um, just little things that are really fun to get. And we package them up really pretty and fun Christmas bags. And it feels like you're getting, I mean, you are, you're getting a special treat. We also love to host a white elephant Christmas gift exchange during our cookie exchange party as well. Again, it gives it just another um, fun element to the party and another something to do. Um, and then everybody walks away with a gift. We set our limit between $20 and $25 and we usually do um, sort of like a Dirty Santa type thing where you can steal gifts and we play different um, games surrounding that. So again, check Pinterest for white elephant gift exchanges or dirty Santa type um, gift exchange ideas and there's lots of uh, fun ones. It just, I don't know, maybe we're just that type of family who really loves the competitiveness of it and kind of the, the fun of it all, but it's fun. <laughs> Another tip is to have everybody bring a snack or an appetizer. My husband's aunt makes some of the best dips. She makes a really fantastic spinach dip with pumpernickel bread, and she also makes a really great taco dip with um, sour, or maybe it's cream cheese, I'm not really sure, I don't know a recipe, but um, something white and good, I think it might be cream cheese, and salsa and cheese, and it's delicious, and so it's a lot of fun to get um, lots of people's takes on different appetizers, but then it also eases the stress off of the hostess, who's usually kind of cleaning her house really well to make sure that it's spotless for all the people who are going to be coming. My sister-in-law and my mother-in-law are usually ones who kind of host the cookie exchange party for the family, and my sister-in-law is pretty much instrumental in putting it all together and facilitating all of the details. One thing that she's been doing the past couple years is she has bought cookie tins for everybody. So everybody gets a tin and then they can go around the table and fill up their tin. Now because we have so many cookies, I mean I think there were between 12 and 14 people at our last party. So if you think there's a couple dozen cookies per each person, we had a lot of cookies. So our tins got filled up pretty quick, but she thought ahead and she also had um, clear treat bags and you can get really cute treat bags pretty much anywhere these days, um, especially during the Christmas time. So Walmart, Target, the grocery store, the Dollar Tree. Um, so she had those available and ready for people to fill up. Of course, if that isn't something on your radar, just encourage people to bring a bowl or a tin or something to bring their cookies home in. If you're the type of person who really loves matchy-matchy and loves to kind of have a whole theme and look of a party or event that you're hosting, Pinterest and Etsy have tons of printables for cookie exchange parties. And you can print these things and you can have little tent cards and signs and all kinds of things that will just tie everything in together. We don't do that too much. For us, it's just let's be simple and let's just have fun. And that's part of the beauty of it. Um, 
but by all means, make your party what works best for you. So that's it. Those are my tips for a successful, fun, simple cookie exchange party. Seriously, they're so fun. So fun. So make sure you check out all of the links down below. I will have everybody listed in this cloud and links to their videos. I love finding a good Christmas cookie recipe that someone else has kind of tested and tried and you know that they're good because, I don't know, sometimes finding a recipe in a cookbook without any reviews, you don't know if it's good, you don't know if it's going to be dry, I don't know. It can sometimes be a hit or miss, but when a recipe comes from somebody that you know or you may not know because they're on YouTube, but you have a rapport with them, I guess. I don't know. That's going to be good. <laughs>